put some jazz or something on it. Help me obey you and to do your will for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Please send your... Hey there, it's Josh, and you're watching Josh Tube. Actually, the first new format of Josh Tube, which is in 15 minute webisodes. And I just wanted to just say that and say, what is Josh Tube? It's, uh, well, it's basically what I like. It's what I like out of what I've filmed of what I've like of what I like. But it's also um sort of like Faith Journey is now the new flagship show, so <clears throat> Josh Tube is like the cutting room floor plus stuff that I wouldn't put into Josh uh Faith Journey like um stuff I filmed in Rhode Island that has nothing to do with church and stuff that I film up here in Vermont that has nothing to do with church such as like Misfit Acres, Poets Place performances, that kind of thing that I filmed in Rhode Island. Misfit Acres obviously is up here. And I just thought I'd show you this is the camper that I'm living in for about another week until we move into the main house, which is right there. And there's a look at the farm. And we're already over our minute. Wow. Every fucking time. Yes? What are you doing? Uh, trying to do something for my shows. Oh, right. But I'm keeping this one near me. I'm hoping to find a few more. Just a sign in thing so you can see how much the trails get. Oh. Oh, it's a binder. Oh, there you go. You get to sign into the party. Oh, it's like a geocache that's not hidden. Right. Pretty full though. <laughs> Pretty wet. Alright, I need to go find him some friends. Oh no. This one is good. That's probably a good thing. Okay. This tells me that other people turn over logs. I really want to, yeah, I want to try that one. Probably not rotten enough. 
because they actually crawl into beetle tunnels in the winter yep. to stay warm. So the wood has to be pretty rotten. And we've already gone higher than Rhode Island. Well, mushrooms. I think I'm much higher than Rhode Island. Of course, I'm not talking about altitude. I know. Then you just put that whole thing in half. <laughs> That's what she said. Milk the cow. I don't get it. Alrighty. Believer in Christ in your breasts. For I have spoken, declares the Sovereign Lord. Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. Because you have forgotten me and completely disregarded me, you must bear now the punishment of your obscene conduct and prostitution. The Lord said to me, Son of man, are you willing to pronounce judgment on Ahola and Aholaba? Then declare to them their abom abominable deeds. For they have committed adultery, and blood is on their hands. They have committed adultery with their idols and their sons, whom they bore to me. They have passed through the fire as food to their idols. Moreover, they have done this to me. In the very same day they deserted, desecrated my sanctuary, and profaned my Sabbaths. On the same day they slaughtered their sons for their idols. They came to my sanctuary to desecrate it. This is what they have done in the middle of my house. They even sent men for them... They even sent for men from far away. When the messenger arrived, those men set out. For them you bathed, painted your eyes, and decorated yourself with jewelry. You sat on a magnificent couch with a table arranged in front of it where you placed my incense and my olive oil. The sound of a carefree crowd accompanied her, including all kinds of men, even Sabians who were brought from the desert. The sisters put bracelets on their wrists and beautiful crowns on their heads. Then I said about the one worn out by adultery, now they will commit immoral acts with her. They had sex with her as one does with a prostitute. In this way they had sex with Ahola and Aholaba, promiscuous women. But upright men will punish them appropriately for their adultery and bloodshed, because they are adulteresses and blood is on their hands. For this is what the Sovereign Lord says, Bring up an army against them and subject them to terror and plunder. That army will pelt them with stones and slash them with their swords. They will kill their sons and daughters and burn their houses. I will put an end to the obscene conduct in the land. All the women will learn a lesson from this and not engage in obscene conduct. They will repay you for your obscene conduct and you will be punished for idol worship. Then you will know that I am the Sovereign Lord. Let's see how far along we are. Okay, so there's a Facebook update. Melody Bell brings and Jared Potts also commented on Melody Bell breaks status. No, no, it's not Josh. That's my favorite song. I should know. That's the next part. Uh, I should know. That's the next part, I think. Whatever. Anyway, I don't have time to read a prayer journal, 
thing to you, but I will say um, that if you do have prayer requests, find a way to get them to me. Comments, Facebook, YouTube, whatever, and I'll add them to my prayer journal. And when I do actually read, not in this segment, but when I do actually read um, stuff like that, it'll end up, you know, on here at some point. So, anyway. There's a couple of species of salamander that lives in the ponds and rivers that are huge. They get like to a foot. I can't remember her name, but one of the girls from Soul Fest was, was talking about doing some kayaking in the areas around Guilford, and she was seeing them. She was what? Oh, I forgot her name. Someone was life toward you. Please forgive me and help me avoid sinning again. I believe that you sent your son, Jesus Christ, who died for my sins, was arrested. Every fucking time. Yes? What are you doing? Uh, trying to do something for my shows. Father in heaven, I know that I have broken your laws and that my sins have separated me from you. Believer in Christ, I now want to turn away.